So we know everybody's wondering, when is it the right time to make a move in the real estate market? Mm -hmm. And we don't know, we can't tell you that. However, we can't possibly predict it. This is gonna be a really short video, isn't it? No, because we are going to look at things that we've seen in the past and see how it correlates and signs of what could be coming next in the market for 2024. And then in a few months, we can look back and see if we were right or not. Yeah, we love being right, but we're happy to admit <laughs> when we're wrong too and pivot accordingly. <laughs> <laughs> so here are the key trends and predictions for the 2024 housing market that you need to know if you're thinking about buying or selling. Home prices have been high due to limited inventory. While there have been some fluctuations, prices are expected to remain relatively high, though they might stabilize or even decrease slightly in the coming months. Next, we have interest rates. We saw mortgage rates rising, which would increase monthly payments and affect buyers' budgets overall. However, we are seeing slight rate drops and potentially more in the future. It's important to keep an eye on rate trends as they can impact your buying power. Third, we have inventory levels. There's still a shortage of homes for sale in many areas. This low inventory can lead to competitive bidding and higher prices, so it's important to act quickly when you find the right property. Fourth, we've got market volatility. Economic factors and changes in housing policies can create volatility. Staying informed about economic news and housing policy changes can help you make better decisions. If you're enjoying our market analysis, make sure to subscribe and like our video. Or you can always send us a message or give us a call. Our contact information is always in the comments and we love hearing from our viewers. So what does all this information mean for home buyers? What should people be doing right now? Well, first up, assess your financial situation. Start by reviewing your finances. This means checking your credit score, calculating your down payment, and determining your budget. Make sure you're financially ready to handle both the upfront costs and ongoing expenses of home ownership. Number two, the best way to do number one is to get pre-approved for a mortgage. Before you start house hunting, get that pre-approval in hand. This shows sellers that you're a serious buyer and can help you understand how much you can borrow, giving you a clearer picture of your price range. Reach out to us for some amazing local lender recommendations who can help get your offer accepted and also make the process much smoother. Number three, research the market. Stay updated on local real estate trends and market conditions. Understanding what's happening in your area will help you identify good deals and avoid overpaying. It'll also prevent sticker shock right up front. We mm -hmm. see that a lot when someone doesn't understand their market. Number four, our favorite is to explore neighborhoods. There's so much research that you can do on your own before you're pre-approved, before you're really in the weeds of home buying. You can research different neighborhoods to find the best fit for your lifestyle and needs. A lot of the videos on our channel have driving tours. So they're gonna take you through the neighborhoods in different popular locations, and you'll be able to see where the homes are most often coming up. This way you can explore Explore areas at your leisure, maybe drop by some coffee shops, get a bite to eat, and really get to know the different areas. Of course, you always want to look into factors like school districts, amenities, future development plans, and then that overall community vibe, which can be found in some of those Absolutely. great coffee shops. Number five, work with real estate professionals. Partner with a knowledgeable real estate agent who can guide you through the buying process. They can provide insights into market trends, help you find properties, and negotiate on your behalf. Number six for buyers, very important. Be ready to act quickly. In a competitive market, desirable homes can sell fast. You wanna be ready to make decisions and be flexible with your offers to increase your chances of securing the right property. And the best way to do that is to be pre-approved even if you're months away because the people that get the good interest rates are the ones that are already pre-approved and ready to go. Now sellers, we don't want you to feel left out. There's a couple things that you can do to think about getting ready to sell your home as well. You're gonna to wanna to contact a real estate professional and find out what the market is like for you. Seasonality can affect things, inventory, pricing. There's all sorts of things that go into this web to weave to have everything be perfect and have a great sale for you. If you're in a different state or location, feel free to reach out to us. We have contacts all over the country and we can provide you with one or two realtors to interview to see who's the best fit for you. If it's 2025 by the time you're watching this, then tell us whether or not we were right. Mm -hmm. But be kind, some of you commenters. <laughs> There is coffee in this mug, okay? <laughs> and if all of this information on buying has got you interested in starting your home search, then you need to check out our video next that compares Jefferson County to Berkeley County, two very popular areas in the Eastern Panhandle. Okay. See you next time. Yeah. You have no coffee? Nope. <laughs>